Hey, what's up guys? I'm Chris Cunningham. Today I'm going to show you how to sharpen a card scraper. The first thing you're going to want to do is clear the bench off, get some of these things out of the way that you don't need just yet. First thing you're going to need is the card scraper itself. One side is still got an edge, and this side does not. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take it to our diamond, our diamond stone, rather, uh, and we are going to clean off and flatten the sides of this. So we're going to get just a little bit of water. I take that back. We're going to put something down first uh, to protect our bench. Piece of plywood. And we just go with that. Okay, now that we have our bench protected, we're going to go ahead and wet down that stone a little bit. And uh, we're going to actually take the whole thing. And what I do is I take my uh, ring finger and my index finger and set it right along the edge and that way you're getting nice even pressure And try not to rub your fingers on the diamond stone itself um, One brush won't hurt you but I can guarantee you after the last video that it will, it will eventually get through your finger. So try to prevent that from happening. Now we'll uh, wipe off our card scraper wipe off the water wipe off our stone and um, there's still a little bit of an edge on there so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little more focus on that and see if we can't remove it all the way And one thing that we aren't going to do, but if you've never sharpened your scraper before, I recommend you take a file to that top and you're going to want to go through and flatten that top. Since I've done that in the past, I can skip that unless you've really messed up your edge, hit it on something, dropped it, uh, then you need to do something a little more aggressive. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it to my stone and try to hold it as close to 90 degrees as you can if no matter how you have to grip it whatever you got to do And I basically put my eyes right over top of this. And of course, you know, I'm not a machine. I'm not going to hold it perfect. Of course, if you don't trust yourself, that block of wood that I uh, showed at the beginning there, I cut a kerf in that with my bandsaw. And you cut it about the depth to where your card scraper is going to be sticking out just at the top. So let's go ahead and insert it. This is a nice snug fit, but essentially it's going to hold like that. And uh, I even surprise myself sometimes because that is uh, extremely easy to hold compared to holding it with my hands. And you can see we got a nice clean shine there. 
So that's what you want, nice and even. And uh, these diamond stones are dead flat. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip that over. Um, these are dead flat. And so we're going to uh, make our card scraper just as flat as that stone. And there you go. That same even shine all the way across. You can see once we uh, zoom in, it's pretty clean. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it on the thousand side just so it's nice and smooth. Just because uh, 300 is pretty rough. You know, that's, that's not much more than what that file would have got us and um, I would have uh, if I would have gone started with the file I would have still gone back through with the stone to uh, just get it a little bit smoother Okay, so from there, we got that both sides nice and clean. They're a little bit smoother. You can see a little bit smoother than uh, when we took it off the 300. And those are really good and flat. So we are done with the diamond stone. Um, before I set it on my nice clean bench, let's go ahead and wipe it off. I'll set it back behind me and uh, we can remove the plywood because we are also done with it um, one thing I'll have to do is scoot my uh, camera back just a little bit try to keep it still centered there now this is another nice thing about this block of wood not only does it hold it for when we're flattening that edge it also holds it nice and snug uh, a little tighter fit than my bench because my bench isn't perfect on one side so it'll hold a block of wood very tight but smaller items it's not not perfect something I need to address in the future but either way you want this card up off of the bench because when we go through with the burnisher we are actually going to angle it one way than the other so we're gonna go back and forth and then we're gonna go like this and that essentially is going to push down the steel, mushroom it out just a little bit, and then when we hit the burnisher at an angle, it's going to take that mushroom spot and curl it over. Um, so essentially, it's gonna be sitting like this, and then it's just gonna have just a little curl. You don't wanna go too far because then it, it, it won't quite dig in, and uh, um, you'll see, uh, see kind of what I'm talking about here in a second. So let's go ahead hit this with the burnisher and you're going to hold it lightly hold it at 90 degrees to the scraper and uh, we are just going to kind of go back and forth just touching it we're not pushing and also i've made a mistake in the past of over shooting it and hitting these corners you can actually see that they're rounded when i came back i hit into them so be very careful not to do that so we're gonna just like that I think I'm getting pretty close there. It's kind of hard to tell because you're talking about a microscopic amount of uh, mushrooming. Now we're gonna go ahead, I'll start hitting it at a little bit of an angle and go back at about the same angle, just like we've been in.
and see if we can uh, get it out and take a look at that. So let me go ahead and I'll pull it out of the uh, block here. And by the way, that block holds it very snug. You got to have a pretty good grip to get it out of there. So what we're going to look at is right. I don't know if my camera will be able to focus up on that or not. Maybe I can get a get a glare off it. But essentially, we got a pretty good burr there. You know, it's not something you can probably even see with the camera, but this side, feel that. So let's go ahead, scoot some items out of our way. You know, I'll have to remember, <laughs> I'll know right away, this is my sharp side and this side has not been touched yet. So we'll get a couple items scooted away so I don't shake them off the bench. And uh, I have a piece of uh, African mahogany here. And we can go ahead tighten that up in the vise and uh, it is really a uh, fuzzy not smooth right now okay so let's do this for fun let's take the side we haven't done anything to it see it's just a little bit of dust you know it's still gonna do a little something mainly because it's a flat piece of steel but this side here has the hook and what you do is you hold up top put your thumbs down on the back and give it a little bit of a bend you know get some pressure on it and, and see there quite a difference and uh, what you saw me do there too is I had it you know at a certain angle to the wood and it was creating dust and then you stand it up you go back down and you'll find that little dust find that right angle and you hold on to that and there you go so let's go ahead and take the camera down here and we'll look at there's the fuzzy and you get up here and look at the difference fuzzy and not smooth very smooth so I think you can see the difference here. Turn out pretty good. Lighting's not very good right above me. I'm, my shadow is right in it. So no matter how many lights I put in here, it's not bright enough. All right, guys, so that's the video. That's how I sharpen my card scraper. Uh, Feel free to let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Hit the like button or hit the dislike. Um, and uh, uh, subscribe to my page if you like my videos. Uh, I'm hoping to have a few more than just informative videos. I might have some builds here real, real soon. Um, so, And then I'll have links at the bottom, uh, affiliate links, that will show you where to get my burnisher, my scraper, and my diamond stone so that you can sharpen the same way. Thanks.